Hey, Mike Mata here again. We're going to talk about the MAC address portion of the DLC header. We've talked about uh, the two, basically, Ethernet version 2 frame formats and then the with the Ether type field. And then we've talked about the length field and then the other couple of frame formats. So we're just going to spend a couple seconds here on the first six bytes of the frame which is the the MAC address and the first six is the destination MAC address the destination MAC address again both source and destination are six bytes and the first three bytes is the manufacturer ID or OUI organizationally unique identifier and the IEEE hands those out you can see the complete list at www.ieee.org However, for the first six bytes, the destination address, if you will, first six bytes of the frame, there are three different types of addresses. Unicast, which is unique, meaning it's coming from my unique NIC, and go, you know, I'm sending to your unique NIC. Broadcast, sending it to all Fs, destination addresses, all Fs. I want everybody on the subnet to to hear or to receive this particular frame and then multicast which is a, a group address and again the difference you see there is the first byte in the destination address if it's an even number and 00, zero is an even number that makes it a unicast or unique address if the first byte is FF and technically if all the all six bytes are FF that's the broadcast address, meaning I want to send this frame to everyone on the subnet again. And then multicast, the first byte is odd. It's, a, it's an odd number, like 0, 1, 0, 3 for the old NetBIOS multicast stuff. So you'll notice this M bit right here, that is the multicast bit. So if that bit is set, then that says it's a multicast or group address. Now obviously broadcast all F's has that bit set as well but a true multicast just has the M bit set and you notice there's also the 2 bit there is the L or locally administered. Now those can only be again in the destination you can never have the source MAC address be broadcast or multicast. The source address in a frame must always be unicast. It would wreak havoc in your network if the, the source address was broadcast or multicast because then you know who would you reply back to? Everybody and that would just cause a big broadcast storm. So let's take a look at these in our analyzers. So here in Observer we can see the multicast address. Again, our our source address we see is a a uh, unicast address. It's zero zero or think even number. Our destination address in this case is odd zero one. So the first byte is odd zero one. The one bit is set, which makes it a multicast address. And again, we see the same thing down in the hex window there. The first byte is an odd number and the first byte of the source address an even number. So source address unique destination address multicast and we looked at this before that there are many protocols that use multicast like Cisco you know discovery protocols Juniper discovery protocols so spanning tree, lots of different protocols that can use multicast. The broadcast that we talked about, here's, a, here's a, an example of a broadcast. So now we're sending out to destination address of all F's. All F's, or at least the first byte being all F's, kind of defines it as the rest will be broadcast. And then once again, the source, 00, zero there, says it's a unique address and we're sending out to everybody on our local subnet. FF says I want everybody on the local subnet to hear. 
All right, and then our third and final we talked about is there is this is um, actually this is also a, kind of a multicast but this is IPv6 and we're gonna skip that for just a second but it is multicast as well but while we're here we talked the other day about um, 86 DD so offset 12 this is a version 2 Ethernet frame 86 DD says we're carrying IPv6 instead of IPv4 if you remember from the other uh, things that we did 0800 there says we're carrying IPv4 in this case 86 DD says we're carrying IPv6 and then that 33 is a multicast because again 3 says we have um, the, the one bit is set so we're gonna bypass that one for just a second and let's go look for something that would be unique to unique this would probably be unique to unique here we go so here is a source of zero zero and again even number talking to a destination of zero zero even number so there is a unique or unicast address talking to a unicast address so those are the three different types of addresses and let's take a look at them in Wireshark so Wireshark again we see the same kind of thing if we look at the the multicast address first we see the 01 there. Uh, there's our multicast destination address, 0100. So there's our you know destination address multicast. The source address again 00 makes it a unicast, so unique. And Wireshark even breaks out the bits there for you to show you know which bit is on. There's our local locally administered bit is set to zero and the individual group bit is set to one which makes this a group address multicast okay uh, we talked about the broadcast FFFF so here we see in Wireshark FFFF destination so we're again sending out to everybody on the subnet and it's originating from a unique address zero zero which again must must happen we cannot have a source address of broadcast or multicast and then a unique unicast to unicast let's go find one of those here we go so uh, here's our zero zero you know a unique address destination address zero zero talking to or you know a source address zero zero sending to a destination address of zero zero so unique address to unique address so that's pretty much everything that's in your DLC header and we'll, we'll move on up the stack as they say into the IP header in our in our next series so hope that helps you out with everything in the DLC header and what all that information means thanks a lot